we're under a grace period right now. So that's when the charity comes in. That's when the, uh, the, love. The, the, the love comes in. That's when, because what's the love? The love is to keep the commandments. So how do you show somebody love? By telling them, nah, Repent. brother, this is going off. You did, no, no, you got to stop that. There's people that I know, I tell them over and over again. Yo, stop looking at that woman. Yo, put the goddamn cigarette down. I'm to the point where I don't even get tired of saying it. Because I'm, that's my way of showing them love. So they can never say in that day when shit is a fan, they're not numbered, and, uh, numbered with the, you know, the ones that are going to be delivered. They can't ever say, yo, how come you, I told you. I, the, I did what the Lord told me to do. To show my people love. I was patient and I showed you love. I was constantly telling you, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this. Keep the commandments. We're showing you to keep the commandments. When back then you were supposed to know how to already keep them. Today our people don't know how to keep the commandments. Mm -hmm. So you got to show them these things. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And patience means suffering. And patience is long suffering, man. And we suffer long for you. Long suffering. That's why they call these people in, in the hospital patients. Because they'll have you sitting in the ER waiting for hours before they come show you any attention. And you be in pain. And you be fucked up. Suffering. People be dying in there, man. Calling for the nurse, calling for the doctor, they won't show up. Because they're long. And to them, they know, man, now we got to let them suffer a little bit. Let whatever's going on get a little worse before we can take care of him. You know, he might die anyway. More money for us, whatever. Send the bill to his family. You know? But, Yahweh Shah taught us charity, love, patience, which a lot of men in this day, they don't have, man. If it was, and if, if we make it into the kingdom just based off of that, people, a lot of people would not be on them chariots. Mm -hmm. Shit, I might not be on them chariots, for all I know. That's why every day I'm going to continue to, to strive to be better. We strive for perfection. That's how you have to be. You have to constantly strive. You can't be complacent or comfortable. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. You wanted the book in Micah, huh? Yeah. Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Yeah, break that down. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a, stroke, a sword destruction, man. And this was talking about ancient Israel. Okay. That wasn't our rest at that time anymore. Now, on a, on a, on a spiritual side, on another fold, it's talking about here, we got to arise and depart from here. That's why when you wake up to this truth, when you wake up to be to your true nationality, oh, I'm a Hebrew Israelite, you literally have to put away the old man. That's what we you used to literally be have to, And that's why this has to come first. Mm -hmm. We always say that people always put the law second and then it's first. This has to come first. When you breathe, uh, when you eat, you got to pray first. You got to make sure you're eating clean foods and compared to unclean foods. Mm -hmm. You got to make sure you're on top of the Sabbath. So, you know, not lighting fires, not doing this, not doing that. If it be in your power, to, you know, if you have the power to do so. Okay, so we have the rise and depart from this space, space spiritually. Because you got guys that's still in the worldly state and think because they go on Saturday that it's all good. You ain't depart from here yet. Yeah, this is not your still, rest. You're still filthy, man. You're still filthy, yo. You ain't put away the old man. All you did was just add a, add a add a whole new um attitude or attribute to your character. That's all you did. But you didn't put away the old man or the old woman, okay? And conduct yourself in a priestly and godly manner. Let's go. There's an old saying: Godliness is next to cleanliness. But you can't be... Go ahead, brother. I got something for you. Go ahead. First Peter 4 and 6. For, for this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead, mm -hmm. that they might be judged according to men in the flesh. What does that mean by them that are dead? It's talking about the, 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 the brothers and the sisters that was in that Gentile state of mind. Because they were dead according to the law. The dry bones. They, if, 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 if everyone, again, if it went, if they were judged according to the, to the laws, it was over. It was over for them, man. Go ahead, brother. That's why in John 8, the adulterous woman, she was supposed to get put to death. She was supposed to be put to death. And they were ready to stone her. And Yahweh Shah said, Ye there are without sin, cast the first, first stone. stone. And they all left from the elder Cunning. on down. Starting from the elder on down. The they elder on ran. down. They got cut because he started writing their sins on the floor. That's right. But live according to God in the spirit. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober. Mm -hmm. Meaning seriously. Be serious about this. Go ahead. And watch on to prayer. Constantly watching them to pray, man. And that's uh, always 
always bring this up. I did a video maybe over two years ago. I said prayer is our ultimate weapon. Yeah. Because okay. that's our only communication with the Most High. You can go out to these streets all day long, man. That don't mean nothing. You ain't praying unto the Lord. You're not asking the Lord for forgiveness. You're not praying to the Lord for the elect. You're not praying unto the Lord for, for guidance. You're not praying unto the Lord for salvation, mercy. You know, the Lord don't, there's no communication there. You could be out there doing it for vain glory. You could be out there doing it for the YouTube views, for the camera. That's corny, man. You know? That's so corny. And, <laughs> and above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves. And above all things, have fervent charity, man. Okay, because what? Charity covers a multitude of sins. And we're all filthy right now, man. So that's... We, we can't bring a, a, a dove or a young, a young kid for a sacrifice to cover our sins. So our faith with our works, okay, is what helps us work to make our our calling for the election sure. sure. But on top of that, you got to be charitable to cover the multitude of sins. That's what it just said. That's the next line. For charity shall cover the, the multitude, multitude of, of sins. sins. That's the spirit. Use hospitality one to another without grudging. Like, don't be mm -hmm. bitching when you do something for a brother. Mm -hmm. Like, you got niggas in the world that do They'll do something for you, and then they'll throw it in your face. Throw it all in your face. You remember when I did that for you? You remember when Should I did that for like you? Should be like six years old. Like, yo, what the fuck? That's Nick, not sincere. Niggas will do shit for you six years ago and, and bring, bring it, it up now. Yeah, that's that's being half hearted. And there was a scripture that talks about let your love be without dissimulation. Dissimulation. Let your, don't let it be half hearted. You know what I'm saying? Be be it's whole sincere. about it. Yeah. If you don't want to do it at your heart, then don't fucking do it. Exactly. Man. Don't do it, man. Be real. As every man have received a gift, even so minister the same one to another, as good sto stewards of the manifold grace of Yahweh. That's right. That's it, man. Yeah, we're gonna just leave it on that because I've been rambling. No need for that. Mm -hmm. You know we. Doing this all through the spirit to wake up our brothers and sisters, wake up the elect, because we need to get the hell up out of here, man. We hope, we pray, and y'all should pray too to come election day, your shit hits the fan. Part of my English. But we need shit to hit the fan. We don't need another president. We don't need three, four more years here. We don't need another year here. It's three, four more years. Nah, we don't need that. What we need is shit hit the fan, the elect be sealed. So Yahweh, Yahweh Shah may reign on earth and the elect can reign with him. Beautiful. On that, we're going to say all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And death to America. Death to America. Kwame Shah. Kwame Shah. Shalom.